I was one of those kids that like stayed away from my family and from trying to push away so hard from them. I kind of got closer to them because they always followed me and looked for me and took care of me. I was more connected with everybody in my family and I was more loved. My name is Samuel Polanco. I'm 18 years old and I live in the Hunters Point District. So my challenges in life is more like staying out of jail, trying to get a job and not getting into fights. I got that kind of temper that just doesn't let me get away from any of that. I had family members that were from the gang, but I didn't really know what it was. So it was one of those things like, okay, they called me a scrap, they stabbed me. I got out of the hospital about three weeks later. It wasn't really that bad of a stabbing because it was just like screwdrivers. But after that, some, some homies walked up to me and everything. And that's when like one of them noticed that I was one of their homies' little brothers. And he was like, oh, you want to come kick it? And I'm like, yeah. I would run away from home. I never stay home for more than a month. So I've been in and out of jail since I was a little kid, so you find me. The system was always a part of my family and my life. The first time that I ever went to jail, I got caught with a gun and they took me in there for, it was eight months all the way till I was 15. That's when they let me out. And then I got caught with a big old knife trying to like chase somebody. And I went to jail and then I got out and that's just when I started chilling out. I'm just trying to finish with probation right now. What I was looking for was people that didn't like the same thing that I didn't like. And that I would have people that would back me up and help me out when I needed it. And so that's what I really went looking for. And I, and I found it what I wanted, and that's why I'm still in it. I got stabbed 11 times, got my head cracked open, got my finger broken, got my ear up, cut off. It was just a whole bunch of BS that happened on 23rd and Cap at like 2 a.m. in the morning. I was with some of my friends, and we got into a little incident with a couple of other guys, and then a whole bunch came out of nowhere. and kind of changed my life, it made me start thinking about the people that I hang out with, like, let me start thinking about the things that I do, be more safer.